my goodness, though. I have a good one today, folks. Today, we're going to see if we can get a 1958 Cushman Eagle, maybe? I don't know. Running. Uh, it's been off the road for a long, long time. Let's take a look at it. She's a beaut. All right. So let's take a closer look. Um, it's a 58 Cushman Eagle. Um, and it's got a few options that I... I don't know anything about uh, Cushman at all, so, but I thought it was weird or unusual. It's got that windscreen, and from what I can uh, find, it's called a bat wing that they put in the front there. Um, it's got a little evidence of being laid down once. Yeah, let's see that. Look at that cool decal. This one down here, I didn't see it before. How cool is that? Um, it is missing a shift knob, but, you know, somebody probably stole that over the years. Man, it is clean down in there. I don't know how you, if y'all be able to tell that or not. Maybe I get a flashlight in there. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a better look down in there for you. <laughs> nope. But anyways, I can see down in there, and it is super clean. Go ahead and get that cap back on her. Um, I don't know anything about getting a Cushman running, but we'll figure it out. It's uh, it is super cool. It's got some really cool original decals too. Look at this one, certified not over five brake horsepower from the Cushman company, and then that's a uh, an oil bath air cleaner. Super cool. That wire ain't so cool. Y'all see that? It's uh, not much left of that thing. May have to fix that. They've kicked her over and she is free. So we know that for sure. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we can find out about this little girl. Isn't that super nice? I just love the way it looks. They wanted you to know who made this bike, that's for sure. Yeah. All right, now let's get to work. All right, let's start. Let's just see if it'll roll over. How easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's building compression. You can hear it in the exhaust. Yeah. She rolls over free, maybe too free. We'll see. Uh, let's see if uh, let's see if she's got any spark. I'm going to have to move us to the shade. My phone is already overheating out here in the sun. So we move us to the shade and uh, we'll continue on. See if we can test this thing for spark. We might even take the spark plug out and put just a little bit of fuel down the cylinder. Just see if we can get it to bust off for a second. You never know. I sure don't see anything. All right, so after kicking it over a bunch, it doesn't seem to be getting a spark. Um, this thing does have a stator system. That's how it gets power. And it has a point uh, in it, points in it like you'd find in, uh, you know, anything with a uh, point style distributor. It's, it's got one of those. But the spark plug doesn't look like it's been out in, I don't know, 10 decades so i thought we might shoot a little wd-40 down in here and just see if that'll help it get going or be pulled out i'm gonna let that sit just a minute we'll try to get that plug out and uh throw a little bit of fuel right down in that cylinder well i'm impatient so we've let it sit for a while but Let's just see if we can get her to break free. I may have to take the uh, may have to take the rubber grommet out of the middle of this so we can get it around that better. There we go. Not 
she broke free. There we go. There we are. There. Oh, it broke the spark plug. Great. Oh, that spark plug is really broke now. Great. Well, we'll have to get us one of those. It's about lunchtime. Maybe I can find one, I hope. I was cleaning that up. Then I realized, hey, I should just be smart about it. It still has the porcelain. So it's a champion... 870. I'm gonna see if I can find another one of these uh, local so we can get a spark plug in it and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, I hate that I broke that, but whatever. It is what it is. Well, I went out to get a spark plug. Can't find one just like we're probably gonna order one, but uh, I couldn't get it to fire earlier. Uh, let me show you this. Troy reached down here and grabbed that uh, spark plug wire boot and just slid right off the end. So I've got one off of a uh, GM. I'm gonna cut this thing down. We'll make it work, and just add that on there. No big deal. But uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna guess the last time he wrote it, it didn't ride very well. I cut this little guy down. Match our other one a little more. This thing's hard as a rock, so we'll use this one. Well, you're gonna notice a little change in venue. We brought this thing to the house. Um, the spark plug's supposed to be here today. Uh, I thought we might do some other stuff to it. So if we get the uh, throttle cable is stuck, so it'd be good if we get that unstuck. Um, I don't know. We'll see what else we can fix before we, uh, the plug gets here. Um, I was kept trying to get spark with it and turning it over and turning it over and turning it over. You can feel that it's trying to build spark, but it's actually. Uh, uh, has a uh, like a point style or points I guess in there and I'm betting that's corroded so we go let's get in there and maybe we get that clean too today and just get this thing to where it's ready to put a spark plug in a little fuel maybe we can fire it off I am stoked to ride this thing around the yard we gotta get it running so the throttle cable just runs you can see it's stuck but it runs right down through here and on down and down to the carb down there. I thought maybe we'd uh, see if we could take this handle off and just shoot some lube in it and just let it sit. Uh, sometimes you can get them to free up that way. I checked the bottom down here on the carb just to make sure the carb wasn't stuck and that was the problem. Let me show you. But it seems to uh, be free. I can't even find it now. Here we go. It goes right there. But you can see the carb itself moves, but the cable just doesn't. So let's see if we can get that to free up. You gotta love uh, old vehicles. Have st standard straight screws. Yeah, that's gonna take some doing to get out of there. Somebody else has already been in it. It ain't the best of shape. Let's see if I can get it out. Let's see if we can give this a shot. Come on, baby. Yes. Be good to me. Well, that's all kinds of broken. See where it's broke off right there? I wonder if that's what was holding it up. We'll find out. There's the rest of it. I wonder if that's why they quit riding her. You can see it just snapped off looks like it's been quite some time of course it may have still been working 
at one point, but it's not now. What a garbage down in that. Yeah, that cop throttle cable is actually not stuck. I can get it to move back. It was in the hand. It's in this handle. So we'll have to figure that out. There's tons. Of, I don't know how will you be able to tell? But oh, it's dirt. Just dirt. I mean, it's packed in here. Let me get uh, get a longer pick and see how much of that I can get out of there. Looks much better. Look at all the dirt coming out of that handle. Get some compressed air on all this too. Get all this stuff cleaned up. dirt it's been laid down in the dirt a time or two i guess huh or maybe this is dirt daubers i hell it's hard to tell there's a good deal of rust in that too i'm still gonna lube all this down in here can't hurt it, that's for sure. Shot a little on that throttle too. As you can see, I got the little air compressor hooked up. I think I'm gonna hit this with a little grinder and see if we can just weld this tab back on uh, like that. You can order this piece and we, we'll probably get one coming, but um, that don't help me turn the throttle today. So uh, this won't be perfect, I'm sure, but you know, maybe we can grind her down and hit her with a welder and, I don't know, get it close. We'll see. Now the plan is just to uh, put these together. See if I can hold it with the pair of vice grips I've got here. And then we'll hit it with the welder and then grind those welds down so we can get the, uh, there's just a screw that holds that together. So I think we can get it. It ain't perfect, but uh, I'll hit it with the grinder. Maybe we can get the screw back through it, and it'll do for what we're doing today. And then if uh, they want to buy this piece and put it in, which they probably will, uh, they can put it in later. It ain't pretty, but I think it'll do. 
Now we'll see if I can get that hole bigger with the drill bit and we'll be set. Hopefully it doesn't break apart when I do that. We'll see. Let's see if we can get a hole started back here. Alright, we got it started. Let's see if we can get a bigger bit through it now. We'll step it up a time or two so it's not all one shot. Mm. Not yet. This is a five thirty seconds, so let's see if we can get it to go. All right, so we get this screw to fit through. Oh, it's very, very close. Just ram it out just a little, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, look at that. That fits. That actually is the one that holds the uh, screw that holds the throttle on the handle, holds it all together. So I think the one that's going through the cable should fit through that. So I'm going to sand this down just a little bit and uh, we'll put a little lube on it when we put it together. It's a little WD-40. Let's put the handle back together and see if we can get the uh, cable to work that way. See if we can get this thing back together. I don't know if there's a right or wrong way, like if that goes this way or if it turns the other way, but we'll just have to mess with it and see. It seems pretty tight let me see if i can turn it back just a smidge so uh, i want that to line up straight oh look it goes down in those grooves in here i see i didn't understand how any of this worked when i was doing it i was just doing it there we go Oh, look, here's a, another piece. I evidently I don't know where that goes. <laughs> Did that go in here? Is that part of the... I bet that was part of the mechanism to hold this together. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, you can see... You'll be able to see. I can see where it was set right there. So that probably just kept all this level. No, oh, I understand. I, I'm getting it, folks. I'll take a piece of sandpaper and just go over this right quick. I did this so it was smoother. Let's smooth that up. It's just a piece of thousand grit. We ain't looking to do any damage. I just wanted to get the dirt and junk off of it. This doesn't uh, want to retract now. And I know, there we go, I think we're going to have to readjust all this. I bet they tried to adjust it when it was broken. There, that's better. See how it's pulled in now? Yeah, that's pulled in all the way. So now that we know that, we can adjust this uh, wire down here to accommodate that. Uh, which I may have to do with the screwdriver. It's not this one. We'll get back to that in just a sec. Let's get the uh, hand control on. I don't, I don't know that I have any of this right, but we're just going to 
wing this. I have a feeling I'm going to have it back apart. There's still a cover that goes over that, but I'm just trying to figure out how it goes together correctly and works. Hmm. Maybe we can try to put the cover on it this time too when we put it together. Or can the cover go further down? Nope. Once I lined it up with that, it screwed right in. So let's see here. Try a smaller screwdriver to get that tighter. I'm gonna shoot a little bit of WD-40 in there and uh, this is white lithium so it won't just evaporate doesn't move at all let's take it back apart we'll get it but we'll work on it and see if we can move there we go well that's just as far out as it goes that's as far in as it goes there we go. Yeah, it's moving. Much better. Do a little more adjusting, but we're going to get there. It'll be tough for you to see, but some nut on the end of this. I'm going to loosen it up, see if we can pull this through. And I think we may actually have to adjust it over here, too. Uh, just to get this cable to work right. Also, there's supposed to be a choke, I guess, on it. Uh, this one either doesn't have it or never had it, or maybe you're supposed to do it by hand. I don't know. So we're going to try to adjust this throttle cable because it's definitely not right. It's not tied at all. I have to wonder if, if that this is the reason why they parked it is they broke that throttle and that was just all they could they couldn't get it to work after that
eat some sort of return spring, I assume. I guess it'd go on this other side, but. That's wide open. I can move it back fairly easy. Yeah, if it had some sort of return spring, I think it'd be fine. Uh, I may have to adjust that a little more. They might have been closer than I thought. But I think I'm going to spray all this down with a little WD-40 penetrant. Just get it, see if I can get it as loose as we can. It feels like it's catching, catching just a little bit, just the carb itself. But um, I don't know anything about that carb, but chances of it being stopped up are probably 100% since it's open. Well, we shall see. Sure ain't gonna hurt it, that's certain. Well, after some research, evidently inside that handle is where the spring goes. I don't know if it's broken in there or if it was missing or what, or if I took it out. I don't. I, I went back and looked at my footage. I didn't take it out. So um, it's actually supposed to slide over the uh, throttle cable in the handle. So I'm going to take it back apart and see if it's broke. Uh, you can order one, so we may have to order one. That won't affect us riding it right now, but we're, we'll have to figure out something. And uh, we, we'll get one on its way. All right, so I took the uh, handle back apart. That spring is supposed to go between here and this piece. And I'm assuming you know, it just pushes this back. Uh, but it wasn't in there. I went back and looked at the footage. It just definitely wasn't in there. So uh, we'll get one ordered. But I'm going to put this back together for now. I can, I'm getting pretty proficient at changing this thing. So I'm just going to toss it back together right quick, and uh, we'll move from there. My mail just ran. I'm going to run down and see if that spark plug came in. It's supposed to. So if it did, I'll go ahead and toss that in. And But we're going to have to tear that apart and look at that uh, the points in it and sand those down probably. Maybe we can get this thing to fire off with a little fuel. I, I'd love to be able to ride this thing around the yard today. Well, it's here. One vintage Champion 870. Um, I just couldn't find anything else here locally. So this will have to do. Uh, this is what was in it before. I don't want it gaps at all. I'd find that out, but, uh, I think the next thing I want to do is actually pull the cover off and see if we can get to the points and clean those. I think I'm going to put this in with a little fuel, uh, after we check the oil, of course, we'll try to fire this thing. Just see what it'll do. So the best I can tell, there's a bolt here and one down on either side at the bottom. Looks like about a half inch. That's what I'm guessing. Let's see if we can get those off, get the cover off this thing. Yeah. It's one of the good, good ratchets. You get a ratchet that's worth a damn and throw this thing away. I'll be right back. Got another ratchet. Looks similar, but this is an old ratchet. I've... Um, uh, this was in a kit that I got when I was, I don't know, I think my dad got it for me when I was 15, when I got my first car, when I bought my own first car. It still works. I got this a 7 16 so we get this off of here. Holding it now.
There we go, 15 sixteenths. I got that little compressor out there hooked up. Got a old half inch driving or saw rand or whatever. Let's just see what she does. <laughs> There we are. I thought that was never going to come off. Okay, after uh, doing a little research, people suggest prying on this and putting the bolt or nut back on that and tapping the nut. See if we can free it up. I've got a dead blow, so hopefully, it won't do any damage. Well, let's hit it with an ha actual hammer. There we go. That dead blow just wasn't cutting it. I had a feeling it wanted to come off. Well, I lost track of time when I was taking this apart and I had to go get the kids, but we're back on it. But let me show you what I found. Um, and we're going to fix this and we're going to move along, get the plug in it and see if we can't get this thing to fire off. But let me show you what's up. Okay, so this is the spark plug wire that comes down. So they have it looped through the uh, coil. It's loose in there. I'm going to put a little bit of solder on that and we'll bend it over. But just a little bit of solder on that, solder it together. I'm sure that thing couldn't have been great contact there. And then down here where the points are, uh, you can't see in there very well. The points are right there. Run a little bit of sandpaper over that just to clean those contacts up. Uh, then put all this back together, throw a spark plug in it and a little fuel, see if we can get it to pop off. All right, I got the points cleaned up and that's soldered on. Let's see if we can get the flywheel back on it. Go. 
click. <laughs> Look at this. This thing I knew had been sitting for a long time. You see the nuts, some rat or I don't know, whatever, stored down in the engine cover. Let's knock those out, put this engine cover back on. I got our live wire bottle. We'll uh, we'll give that a little squirt here in a second, right down the spark plug hole. And I gotta say, vintage Champion 870. This thing still made in America. That's right, made and patented in the USA. I don't. I wonder what the year is on that. Anybody know? I don't know. I'm gonna guess the 80s, maybe the 90s. But anyways, we're gonna stick this together. I'm going to roll this bike outside and see if we can get it to pop off. And if it'll pop off and we know the motor is going to kind of do okay, we'll tackle this uh, filter thing or sediment tank, or whatever it's called. Get that cleaned out and put some fuel in it. See if we can't get this thing where it'll idle. If it'll idle, it'll run, hopefully. So if you find yourself working on your 58 Cushman and you're like, how much fuel should I grab, dribble? down that spark plug hole probably i don't know that much that should be good right i hope some of it actually made it in there and it's not just on top of the head uh we won't know till we know let me uh throw this plug in it and we'll roll her outside see if she'll pop off look at that i'd gap it but i don't know what the gap's supposed to be you know stick it in and run see what happens outside and set up some cameras all right we'll kick her over and see what she does So I'm sure you can't hear it, but it is, sounds like it's trying to combust a little bit in there, but I'm sure it's out of gas. So I think I'm going to try to clean that out, that tank out just a little bit. Nothing crazy. Uh, some brake cleaners right down in it. Pull the uh, tank line off and uh, we'll just see if, see if we can flush it out a little bit, put some fuel in it. See if this thing will pop off and actually run. Got down here to where this is. Um, it doesn't seem like it's tight at all. I think I may just go ahead and snip this right here, take that off and clean it good up while it's apart and then put it back together. I didn't think in a million years that thing would actually move. That's why I wasn't even gonna mess with it. So what happens. Came right off. I pulled the, uh, it's got like a little fuel shut off right here. It moves freely, so it's no big deal. I blew through that, there's plenty of flow. I think I'm gonna try to, I really wanted to take this apart, but I'm afraid that's gonna break. Just, I don't know, it ain't worth the, it ain't worth the risk. So I'm just gonna spray it down with some brake cleaner, just clean it off, clean the inside of it out. That's what we're mostly concerned about, since we know that this works and it moves freely, so. Got in it. So. 
looks like it's covering up the uh, inlet, so it should be good. All right. Give her a crank or two, see what she does here. All right, so you can see I got my spark tester hooked up. I cranked and cranked and cranked and cranked and cranked. And uh, we're not getting any spark. Um, I don't know if I can't turn it over fast enough is why we're not getting spark. Um, or if the points didn't get clean enough because I really can't see them. I didn't take them off. I didn't, or maybe the points need adjusted. Cool could be bad. Um, so... I've got the boot off that. I was just messing with it. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to take this cover back off and we'll we'll try something new. Well, I've got her back out in the sunlight. Um, I took the flywheel off, sanded all the contact points. It had a little bit of rust on it. I don't know if that matters or not. I also re-sanded the actual points in it uh, and just kind of put everything back together. Um, I unplugged the kill switch. I was thinking maybe the inside of that is grounded as well i don't know that that wouldn't let it get spark but in my mind i thought why not so um i do still have the uh, spark tester hooked up i can't get it to light up or i can't see it or maybe the bulb's bad don't know what any of that really is don't know but um it definitely has spark because now it'll now it'll hit you when you're holding it and you crank it over it'll it'll uh, spark off on you so uh, let me show you this, and we'll see if we can't get it to crank over. Uh, I I don't know that I can crank it over fast enough. See, I still have this hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and put this bolt back in because it holds the head down. Um, and this thing was pouring fuel a minute ago. So I'll have to turn the fuel back on, but I have a feeling that carburetor is garbage. But maybe it'll, maybe we can hear it run. I cranked and 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 cranked yesterday on that thing. Trying to get start, no dice. So today, I got to thinking, what could we do maybe to get it to pop off? Two things came to mind. One, maybe it's not building quite enough compression, and that could be for a couple of reasons, but one of those would be the rings. And I thought, if we dropped a little bit of Marvel Mystery Oil, down in the combustion chamber maybe that'd help seal the rings off definitely make it turn over faster because it lubed that cylinder up really well um and then the other thing i thought was we probably flooded it yesterday because the carburetor is pouring gas uh so if we cut i cut the gas off to it last night and it's had a chance to dry out so i thought we'd pull the plug put a little marvel mystery oil, marvel mystery oil in it and then put the plug back in and shoot a little starting fluid in it. I just want to hear it pop off. If it'll pop off, I'll be a happy man. Um, we can order parts, get the things fixed, but uh, I just want to hear it run. I got the spark plug out, and you can barely even smell gas on it. Uh, so I don't think much gas was getting to it yesterday. I think it was just pouring out the front of the carb. So, uh, yeah, let's pour this marble in it. 
I'll put that plug back in. And I don't know how much, just a little, I guess. And uh, I'll put that plug back in. And oh, it's just pouring. Look at this. It's just pouring right out the carb. Can you see that? Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna pour a little more in and just crank it. That's probably the best we're gonna get. We'll throw the plug back in it. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. Well, as you can see, I cranked and cranked and cranked and cranked and cranked some more. Um, I can get it spinning over really fast, and it sounds like it wants to pop off, but it just won't quite do it. Um, I'm sure it's getting enough uh, of the starter fluid sucked in to where it wants to fire it, but I don't think it has enough firing power, so to speak, to do that. Uh, when I was testing the coil yesterday, I was checking it for fire. You can hold that coil wire in your hand it'll spark you occasionally but it's never very strong um, leads me to believe something's wrong in that uh, whether it's I don't I think there's a capacitor in there that holds the charge and then discharges it into the coil so I don't know if it needs a points and capacitor or if it needs a coil or both uh, the wire clearly isn't in the best of shape so uh, maybe we'll get some of that stuff on a order uh the carburetor also pouring fuel it ain't no good so i don't know if troy will want to rebuild this carb or buy a carb or i don't know we'll i'll talk to him see what he wants to do um i've not given up on this little thing yet i'm sure it'll run i 
I just really want to ride it around the yard. It's so cool. So um, we'll be back on it. But it'll be a week or two maybe. Uh, I don't know what we have planned until then. There'll be other videos. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching and subscribing and hitting the thumbs up button. It really hitting the thumbs up button means a lot because it helps the algorithm know that I'm that I'm you know that I'm putting out decent content. So make sure you're hitting the thumbs up button and commenting if you would please. And if you know anything about small engines, I I got nothing. I don't know anything about them. I'm learning as I go. Uh, this is not my forte, so to speak. So if you know what this might be, let me know. We can go from there. Uh, but regardless, like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.